Well, this evening, a UC Davis professor is under fire for posts advocating for the killing of police officers. Lamore Abrams on how some law enforcement officials now want him out of a job. Professor Joshua Clover does not deny his beliefs. He is on medical leave now, but he's still scheduled to teach English and literature at UC Davis, even with emotions still raw over the killing of Davis police officer Natalie Corona. The recent ambush style murder of Davis police officer Natalie Corona, shining a spotlight on statements this award winning UC Davis professor made years ago. Joshua Clover telling a San Francisco newspaper in 2015, quote, People think that cops need to be reformed. They need to be killed. And according to the UC Davis newspaper, Clover's anti police beliefs first came out on social media, tweeting in 2014, quote, I mean, it's easier to shoot cops when their backs are turned, no? The professor's Twitter page is now private, and he declined to comment on its controversial views, but did tell CBS 13, quote, On the day that police have as much to fear from literature professors as black kids do from police, I will definitely have a statement. Pretty extraordinary, and, and I've heard him hailed and lauded as, a, as, a, as an intellectual giant. Well, he's not. You know, with all due respect, that's not symptomatic of somebody who has an abundance of intellect. Former Sacramento Sheriff John McGinnis calling on the university to limit his speech or let him go. You're actually calling for the death of human beings. They have a right to say that's not consistent with, uh, with our values. UC Davis said just that in a statement to CBS 13. But while the university condemns the professor's comments, a spokeswoman goes on to say, quote, public statements like those made by Professor Clover are accorded a high level of protection under the First Amendment. We asked constitutional law expert Jeffrey Kravitz to explain how that applies here. If someone is fired for speech that they made, and they are, and it's protected speech. They work for the government. They make a speech about politics. You would have to show that the statement is not actually protected. You would have to show that the statement is one that is an incitement to violence. And tonight, the head of the English department where the professor works also tells us she is distressed to learn about his views. She referred us back to the university's communications department where a spokeswoman adds this. The university has not received a complaint of conduct that may be in violation of the faculty code of conduct.